Hi, this is Nick Dentry. I'm with Brian Anderson, and today we're going to be installing the Knowledge and Documentation MCP servers for the Amazon Q Developer CLI. You will have already needed to have set up the Amazon Q Developer, Developer CLI in order to move forward with this particular video. And if you're looking for that, it's called the Getting Started with Amazon Q Developer CLI. I will leave a link in the description below so you can follow that if you haven't set that up yet. If you go to Google and type in Knowledge MCP Server, this first hit at github.io is where you want to go. And we have a, a couple documents that will give you a little more information about what we're installing today. You can see here we've got the Knowledge MCP Server as well as the Documentation MCP Server. So what this allows the Q Developer CLI to do is actually look up documentation on the fly and understand that information and help you develop, debug, and troubleshoot. So we're going to go ahead and get into VS Code. So within VS Code, I'm going to go ahead and first off, I'm going to start a conversation uh, with the QChat developer CLI. I'm going to ask it some questions about a new service because I don't think that this particular model is aware of the latest and greatest services because it's trained on data that's usually months uh, older than what the current releases are. So if we go to, back to Google, take a look. This is a new uh, agent platform that's currently in preview. And I really doubt that this particular model has any information. So I'm going to go ahead and verify that real quick. Are you familiar with the new Agent Core runtime in AWS? I don't have that information. Looks like my knowledge was cut off. So kind of what I suspected. Go ahead and do is open up a new terminal and actually install these MP MCP servers so that we can talk to QChat about this new service. Um, when you're installing MCP servers, you do want to use the, the Q command line tool, which is what you see here. And this particular command is going to have everything that you need for the knowledge MCP server. All right, and I'm also going to copy uh, this command for the other MCP server and go ahead and install that. And looks like they're both added successfully. So now when I open up a new session with QChat, it should have access to those MCP servers. All right, so you can see that it's being initialized. It did not do that the last time. And if we scroll up a little bit, we can see that we have the knowledge and the documentation server. So great. Um, let's ask it that question. Are you familiar with the new agent core runtime? on AWS and so let's take a look here I need to search information about that so it, it just immediately knew that it didn't have the capacity to do that so I'm gonna go ahead and trust this so what this basically doing is saying hey can I run this MCP server to look up this particular query agent core runtime on AWS we're gonna trust that that makes sense, so we'll go ahead and allow that. And looks like it wants to use the documentation MCP server. So it's actually grabbing a particular document. And there we go. Yeah, so this is all true. It's the agent core runtime is framework agnostic, etc. So really quickly, what we just showed was the ability to add MCP servers via the Q Developer CLI and actually have the Q Developer CLI do research on our behalf. Hope this uh, video is informational and we will be continuing with additional videos. Thanks.